When we were activated, we knew the situation was bad. Worse than anyone knew. We are an elite, highly skilled group of embedded agents. They only call us when everything else has failed. We have no rules. We have no limits. Our job is to protect what remains. Welcome all to another first contact analysis video. Now online can be a huge portion of a game's development and today's target is one such TCP centric title and its destiny is clear for all to see. After such a long development cycle way back with the 2013 reveal, the game has gone through many equally large changes with more teams added to the project, development video docs released and enough closed and open alphas and betas that only Tom Clancy himself could better, which is poetic in itself. But after all the teasing, the game now hits our machines tomorrow morning or earlier today if, like myself, you bought a retail copy and it arrived early. In this case, it is the lead platform of the Xbox One that this first look is examining. How much has changed from the previous stages that we have played through, and is it for the better? Well, this video is not really going to answer all that, but we will get there. With the game being a persistent online world that allows seamless play from the game's full single player story, just a gate open away as you enter the dark zone and its risk and reward configuration that pretty much anyone watching this video will have seen or possibly played. I will not dwell on that, enough to say that it works as before, once in Manhattan you can jump in, scavenge, toxic loot, retrieve and rearm yourself when out. Performance here could have a few dips on console and PC alike during the beta, with some tearing in the Xbox One version but nothing of any serious concern and from my early test this appears to be the same story here, but as always with these types of volatile and conditional sections, your mileage may vary, and this is something I will cover in more detail and depth with my full head to head. The single player starts with you receiving your wake up call from the SHD, Strategic Homeland Division, dropping everything and everyone to at best wander around empty streets, pointing a gun at coughing civilians, armed with little more than a beanie, a rucksack and a lemsip and a submachine gun mind as they do their best hobo impression. And worse, spent shooting thugs in the head as numbers pop out and you collect carelessly discarded valuable stash like a modern day cowboy with a license to kill or cough. Now the early section gives you a taste of how all this began and your first missions as you get accustomed with the controls and system but this is all very brief as you push onwards. This is all set before the beta that many played so you will learn what happened and why you and your new friend nearly bit the big one before it all began. My first concern is one from all my plays thus far. The acting and delivery in these story scenes is not of a high or convincing level, not helped by so-so writing. I am aware this is a more group-centred game with its one-year plan laid out before launch with multiple DLCs released to keep you in the game and draw more money. This service model is not a new method. But even though the story and premise starts well and feels realistic throughout my play, I enjoyed the bigger shootouts and boss battles that I will cover in the next video, but the scenes that are meant to engage and deliver emotional impact never really work for me, which is a shame as I would have hoped that the start would have delivered more than it actually did. Now I'm not saying it is terrible, but I think many will skip these parts to get back into the satisfying action, so it's not at all a bad problem, it's just a shame that the work that has gone into them isn't really going to pay off in my opinion. The game has looked to have received some upgrades since the beta, with volumetric light being less prone to errors and more abundant. Tearing in the early section on the Xbox One at least was far more prevalent though than the beta, but it is far from an issue, but it did crop up a few times during some bigger battles and cinematics, but with such brevity that many would not notice I am sure. Just mentioned for completeness. As you play, the signs are good for the game's dynamic destruction and weather, gorgeous lighting, varied AR levels makes the single player combat very enjoyable, and it gets better as you work into the game. Now pixel counting does suggest that a dynamic resolution is in use here, but with only around 4 sections that I've tested I will confirm IF this is the case and how much it does drop, but in general play you would not notice any glaring signals. LOD signs are per the beta having a fade in style to soften its impact but it can still pop at times and it should or would be noticed far more. Just like that we are looking at a pretty solid 30 FPS across the played sections thus far and the game's visual arsenal at times is and can be incredibly impressive and atmospheric in more ways than one. With around 30 missions to play through and multiple bosses and areas to clear it should have the staying power for the long run at least. They also do not shy away from the teaser section as this appears right at the start of the game. 
And as you can see on screen, the comparison shows a very close match to that initial reveal. Obviously, the time of day and situation is not identical to that shown, but at this early stage, it gives you a clear view of how close the game has come to its elevated debut. Which is, for now, where I will leave you with along with a few more minutes of action to give you a taste of the Big Apple before it all turns sour. Meanwhile, I will return with more info and a detailed analysis across Xbox One, PS4 and multiple PC specifications to get a clear view of what each can muster and if the team's early promise and their own in-house engine, Snowdrop, delivered. Early signs are good and the combat is satisfying and much tougher than the beta, which is only a good thing. As always, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe. And of course, visit more on the website and follow me on Twitter. Leave all your thoughts and feedback below. You guys and girls take care, and I'll see you very soon in the Dark Zone. This is Division Command. We've got an agent incoming to assist at the 84th. But I'll interest.